Hello students, today I'm going to discuss with you a graph which has been seen in the past in the academic IELTS writing test. This is uh, on the process of the working of a hot air balloon and uh, uh, the hot air balloon is shown in two modes, ascending mode and the descending mode. Um, this was drawn by one of my students uh, as she came out of the examination hall uh, about a year or two ago, I don't exactly remember. But this graph is uh, not difficult and uh, so I decided to uh, talk about it today. Uh, the two diagrams describe the main parts of a hot air balloon and indicate how it works. So you can see this is a ascending hot air balloon. This arrow shows it's going up and this arrow shows it's going down. This is the descending hot air balloon. Um, let's see how to go about writing this. The given picture illustrates the working of a hot air balloon. It shows the balloon in the ascending and the descending mode. So it's easy. You can see the introduction is easy. The given picture illustrates the working of a hot air balloon. It shows the balloon in the ascending and the descending mode. Now we'll write the overview which starts with the word overall uh, after the introduction. This can be given at the end also. Uh, but I like to put it here. Overall, it can be seen that the hot air balloon is scientifically designed to allow it to ascend or descend and the control of the burners and the valve is in the hands of the passenger, passengers. So you can see it is scientifically designed to allow it to ascend or descend and the control of burners. See here these are the passengers and you can see the passenger is holding this valve cord in the hand and uh, the burners are also there where the passengers are there and the uh, burners can be switched off on and off by the passengers. So the control of the burners and the valves is in the hands of the passengers. The first picture shows the ascending hot air balloon. The gas cylinder tank um, uh, is at the bottom of the balloon above which there is a basket. So this is the gas cylinder tank above which there is a basket which has arrangement for the passengers to sit or stand. When the burners are on, the balloon, when the burners are on, the balloon uh, envelope inflates and rises up. When the burners are on, the balloon envelope, this is the envelope, this inflates and rises up. There is a valve at the top of the envelope. Now this, there is a valve here and which is closed when the balloon is rising up. So when the balloon is rising up, this valve is closed. It's shown, it's closed. It's written also, valve closed. And uh, there is a valve at the, uh, which is closed when the balloon is rising up. The cord of the valve is in the hands of the passengers. You can see the cord of the valve. This is in the hands of the passengers. The second picture shows the descending hot air balloon. It is evident that to make the balloon descend, the burners have to be extinguished. See burners off. They have to be extinguished or they have to be put off. And uh, the valve cord is pulled. Now the passengers can pull the valve, valve cord. When they pull the valve cord, this valve opens. Um, as a result of which the valve on the top is opened and the air is let out. Mm -hmm. All this deflates the balloon and the balloon descends. So all this because they pull the valve cord this this is pulled so this valve opens and the gas which is here it uh, escapes and uh, the burners are already off so the balloon now de deflates and descends, descends or comes down. So this is my description of this uh, uh, graph. I hope you've uh, liked it and it's it's easy but uh, uh, if you don't understand what you have to write first and don't plan out your writing, then uh, it can be a bit difficult. This is about 190 words, which is pretty good, less than 200. And it also shows all the parts of the balloon and the ascending and the descending mode. Thank you very much for watching patiently. I hope you've learned something about writing such a graph when it comes.